We are also willing to evacuate children and orphans to be given post-trauma treatment and schooling and to be returned back to Gaza when the situation becomes normal. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Your Majesty King Abdullah II of Jordan, Your Excellency President Abdel Fattah El Sisi of Egypt, Your Excellency Antonio Guterres, Secretary General of the United Nations, Your Excellency President Mahfoud Abbas of the State of Palestine, on behalf of the government of Indonesia, I would like to thank Jordan, Egypt, and the United Nations for convening and hosting this crucial meeting. The government of Indonesia and the people of Indonesia express once again the strongest support for an independent and sovereign Palestine as the real solution to this conflict in Palestine and in Gaza. We look to, with the world today with horror, dismay, and astonish, astonishment at the fact that nations that consider themselves modern and civilized can perpetrate flagrant violations of international humanitarian law. The targeting of civilians and civilian infrastructure is in direct violation of the laws of modern warfare. We call on both sides to respect the laws of warfare. We call on all great powers to use their great influence to enforce the Convention of International Law. The humanitarian catastrophe unfolding before our eyes must be addressed immediately. Indonesia was one of the first to support the proposals recently announced by the President of the United States, Mr. Biden. This calls for an immediate ceasefire and subsequent phases leading to a real and lasting solution to the Palestine issue. Indonesia is ready to contribute to all efforts that can lead to this ceasefire, this immediate ceasefire, and to take part in all the phases following such an immediate ceasefire. We will significantly increase our contributions to UNRWA and other immediate humanitarian assistance. We are ready to deploy more medical teams and a field hospital to operate in Gaza. We are also ready to once again deploy a hospital ship and also to deploy air assets to take part in air drops when necessary. We are also willing to evacuate 1,000 patients to be treated in Indonesian hospitals and to be returned to Gaza once they recover and the situation in Gaza becomes normal. We are also willing to evacuate children and orphans to be given post-trauma treatment and schooling and to be returned back to Gaza when the situation becomes normal. Ladies and gentlemen, although we are willing to support and contribute to all these efforts, the final solution to this problem is a two-state solution. Only with a two-state solution, with Palestine and Israel living side by side in security and safety, can we resolve this problem. Thank you very much.